Welcome to the following presentation of some more NCCVL League Championship Volleyball here on the Stanford Club YouTube page. Hello friends, Jacob and Rokel here once again for the fifth game of this marathon of a Saturday morning and afternoon here at the Burnham Pavilion. Back on the mic, the final game tonight features San Jose State University taking on the number one seeded UC Davis Aggies. The Spartans defeated Humboldt earlier this morning, the first game at 10 a.m. here in Burnham Pavilion. A few hours later, here they are back, set to face the Davis Aggies. The Aggies, just like we saw with the slow Mustangs, had a bye being one of the number one seeds. The Aggies, the lone North representing team in this D2 bracket remaining after Humboldt alongside Monterey Bay were knocked out. The Spartans come into this one. The number two seed in the South, 15 and two record throughout the entire season. As for the UC Davis Aggies, the one seed in the North, 14 and four record. So you can debate 15 and two, two seed, 14 and four Aggies in the one seed. Who's really the underdog? Well, we'll find out here on the court. Let's go ahead and quickly meet the starting lineups for the Spartans, brought by coach Kevin Lee as the action gets underway here in the Burnham Pavilion with the first point for San Jose State. For San Jose State, number two, Kevin Chu, seven, Tan Nguyen, eight, Isaac Newman, 13, Germahawk Singh, 15, Anthony Hirayama Morgan, 16, Kyle Young, and 23, the libero Octavio Robledo. And as for the Aggies, number one, Colby Wu, seven, Sky Zhao, 17, Nathan Union, Number 19, Daniel Thomas Brigus. Number 20, Ashton Woldridge. 26, Andrew Dogger. Number 15, Cole Guerrero. And number 19, the libero, Lucas Lamb. A 2-1 lead early for San Jose State. So the Spartans, one game played already today. Once more, that was the victory over Cal Poly Humboldt earlier this morning. And that 10 a.m. first serve action was the lone game to actually be on time. All the games have been pushed back at least a solid 40 minutes. We've had a couple five game sets earlier today. And the most recent game here in Burnham Pavilion was a 3-0 sweep that Cal Poly Slow's B team had on the UC Santa Cruz Banana Slugs. Aggies attack from the left side and pick up the kill. Number 20, Ashton Wooldridge getting in on some early action. Back to serve, Cole Guerrero. Front set from the left side, up high, down low. Goes Isaac Newman, defying gravity for the early kill for the Spartans. Robledo goes back to serve for San Jose State. An early one point advantage over the one seated Aggies. That one into the net for Robledo. An early service error on the Spartans. The winner of this matchup will go ahead to take on that Cal Poly Slow B team to determine the winner of the D2 bracket. That game set for tomorrow afternoon. Backside set. Met at the net on the first opportunity. Spartans forced to push it over, but they pick up the lucky kill. Aggies out of position defensively. The Spartans and Newman picks up his second early kill. Coming in to serve, Andrew Gassner. Gasser, the senior from Santa Ana. More left side action on the net. That one off the antenna for the Aggies. Point goes to the Spartans. These two teams met up just once in the season. San Jose swept the Aggies in a 2-0 fashion in a best of three game. Big kill there for the middle man, Daniel Thomas Grigas. 
Gives the Aggies their fourth point of the affair, now trailing just one early in the first set, two to Spartans. Back to serve is Wooldridge. Up the middle attack. Aggies can't convert on the defensive side of things. Hirayama Morgan picks up the kill for the Spartans. The leading kill man by far for this San Jose team is Kyle Young. Young up in the front left, number 16 for the Spartans. Keep an eye out on him for today. Gets the cross court action right here. The tip shot. Good pickup by the Aggies. Their turn from the right side. Spartans forced to scramble, unable to do so as that one's eventually kicked on the other side of the court. Aggies get the point on the long kill shot. Back to serve, Thomas Grigas. Thomas Grigas from Lithuania, the sophomore middle. Spins it for an ace. The European doing damage here in the Barham Pavilion. We continue to see with these road teams that come into here. San Jose State, yes, already one game played. But now for the UC Davis Aggies coming into this historic Burham Pavilion. Just a sight to see for these young kids as they take in all of this historic action. Burham Pavilion. Originally built in 1921, known as the Stanford Pavilion back then. Hosted the basketball teams up until 1968. As we all know, Maple's Pavilion on the Stanford campus holds that honor now. Second service error for the Spartans ties this one at seven apiece. So I'm sure the family's visiting quite happy the fact that this is hosted on the Stanford campus. I mean, you get to check out the beautiful Stanford area, the campus for perhaps some of your smart kids to attend and scout out. That's right on cue. There is Kyle Young. This team's leading killer gets on the board early. We saw a couple years ago, this NCCVO championship was held at Monterey Bay. So these families of the teams competing, you get to go to Monterey Bay and you get to go to Stanford for some volleyball and some peace of mind. Sounds like a grade A vacation to me. Young, more action deflected at the net. He gets a second try, forced the two-hand set of the cross. And the Spartans get the point on the violation. Two-point lead for the two-seated down south Spartans. Aggies go front side up the middle. A good stop in the beginning by the libero Robledo, but no one there to back him up as the Aggies take the point on the aggressive kill. Going back to serve now is Andrew Dogger. Young is set up top. Barnes forced to bump it across. Good opportunity again for the Aggies. They're able to take advantage. Ashton Woldridge picks up the tip kill for the Aggies, and we find ourselves tied at nine apiece early. Action on the net. Aggies go for the first touch kill, unable to do so. Good save by the Spartans. Front side set. More action, but that one too strong for Dogger. Spartans, the first squad to reach that 10 point mark here in the Burham Pavilion. Once more, the final game of a five game series today in this marathon like action for the NCC VL League Championship, round one and two. Point goes to the Spartans on the setting error against the uh, Aggies. Front side action once more up the middle, picking up the kill right there for the Aggies, Sebastian Carpintero. Carpintero off the bench 
immediately makes his attack before being checked out. Right side to center action for the Spartans. Kevin Chu picks up the kill. Two point advantage once more for the Spartans. For San Jose State, their only two losses this season have come to the same squad who they may face in the finals. Cal Poly Slow's B team, pair of losses in the regular season to the Mustangs. Besides that, a perfect 15 and 0 including that one 2-0 sweep of these Aggies earlier in the year. Ball hangs on the net, goes back to the Spartans. Left side attack, picking up the kill. Isaac Newman. Three early kills for Newman. The sophomore from Redondo Beach. Octavio Robledo back to serve. Aggies go right side attack yet again. Deflected out of bounds off the Spartans. Skyzow picks up the kill for the Aggies. We're heading to the bench. Coming in to serve Alex Chang. Chang the sophomore from the Bay, San Francisco. Spartans go from the right side for the kill. The high-flying Chu targeting these Aggie defenders. Couple back-to-back -back kills for Chu. Gets some cheers from Coach Kevin Lee on his way to the bench. Back to serve Andrew Gasser once more for the Spartans. Back to Aggies. Try to right side again. Successful once more this time. Ashton Wooldridge been working the left and right sides for Davis so far. Wooldridge, after picking up the kill, will head back behind the line to serve for Davis. Middle action attack. Aggies ready. They get their chance now. Left side. Young there for the first touch. Back to Newman, the chip kill to perfection. Spun it over the initial line. Right over Carpintero and Thomas Grigas for the kill. San Jose State, 15 to 12 advantage as Newman goes back to serve now. Left side attack, racking up the kill. Once more is Dogger. Dogger trying to keep this Davis squad in it as we pass the midway point in set number one. Behind the line is Thomas Grigas. We saw the Lithuanian native pick up an ace his first time behind the line. Newman with a good first touch, sets up Young on the left side, takes care of the rest. A perfect, efficient one, two, three touch kill for these Spartans and Young. Kyle Young showing us all right there. Why well, he's by far this team leader in offenses, offensive efficiency. Hiriyama Morgan behind the line of serve for the Spartans. Aggies in deep position, forced to roll it over, but they get it right back on the first touch. Middle attack, just outside the outstretched arm of Hiriyama Morgan. Point goes to the Aggies on the kill. Coming in to serve for Davis. Colby Wu re-entering. Wu floats one to the center court. Young left side. Appeared to miss time his jump. It makes absolutely no difference for Kyle Young. Teammate Tan Nguyen back to serve for the Spartans. Supporting a three-point lead. Getting in the later stages of set number one. Front set action. Nguyen keeps it alive temporarily. But the kill to the Aggies as they pick up the point. Nguyen able to keep it alive potentially for Chu. No one there to make the play. Here is Chu. He picks up the kill. Cross court attack. 
effective for the Spartans as they regain that three-point advantage over the Aggies. Kyle Young back to serve yet again. Middle attack, Aggies. Newman there. Newman rolls it over. Aggies with a chance to attack offensively. Left side. Young with a good first touch. Not enough time to react for Newman. Aggies have had their fair share of powerful counterattacks offensively. Thomas Griegas comes back in. Right side set. Good pancake save there from Guerrero. Spartans another try. Newman rolls it across. Left side set. The attack doesn't get over the net. Woldridge met by the line featuring Gurmahawk Singh up top as he comes out. Octavia Robledo back to serve. Backside set, right to Young, makes a good two-handed first touch. Point goes to the Spartans on the net violation for the Aggies. San Jose State, first spot to reach that 20-point mark here in the first set of play. Kai Hill coming in for the Aggies for his first appearance. Up the middle they go. Octavio with a fine save. Keeps it alive for the Spartans. They go over to the new guy, Hill. Tough angle. Had to go over the net and around the body of the net referee. Roberto will continue to work behind the line for the Spartans. First touch over the net. Spartans ready. Newman tips it over, good save by the Aggies. Hill, a better opportunity, can't convert. Young is there, he gets it right back, the floater. No one home to keep it alive for the Aggies. Quickly find themselves behind 22 to 16, just like that. Now to force coach Victor Tenorio to call his first timeout of the set. So far, San Jose State commands a 22-16 lead. their respective huddle here inside Burnham Pavilion for the two-seeded Spartans. An early 22-16 lead and add one more on that with the ace. Boy, Octavio Robledo, five consecutive serves, about to have his sixth for the Spartans. He continues to roll the thing. Nearly another ace. Aggies forced to roll it across. Right side attack. Chu and the Spartans pick up the point. Yet another violation called by the score sideline referee. So now with the Spartans at set point, another timeout called by Coach Tenorio. His squad now down eight points, 24-16 the lead for the Spartans. So Davis gonna need to come up with more than one defensive stop against these Spartans who are having whatever they want on both sides of the court. Spartans continue to be led by Kyle Young. Young, the senior from Los Gatos, his last year at San Jose State. We're gonna finish it out with a bang and give himself a chance for the D2 title. They can take on Cal Poly slow tomorrow with a victory over UC Davis here. Front set, 
Left side, Young keeps it up. Octavia with a good hustle. Spartans put it over. They give it Aggies another go. Spartans a chance to attack. Newman ends the point. Defense to offense for the Spartans to take set number one in 25-16 fashion. It was close through the first 15 points. Spartan kicked down the doors. Take the nine point lead in set number one. We'll switch sides here in Burnham Pavilion when we're back. Set two action between the Spartans and the Aggies. Jacob Aaron will go back here for set two action between the San Jose State Spartans and the UC Davis Aggies. The one seed currently down one set to zero over the two seed down south Spartans. Like we mentioned, the Spartans two losses on the season, 15 and two, and those two losses came against Cal Poly Slow's number one seeded B team in the D2 division. So the two teams switching sides, moving the cameras to the opposite side of the court. Something I didn't exactly expect to see. Every squad bringing at least one camera behind them at all times. Cool to see the winning teams have some film to study come tomorrow's game. Starters on the court for the Spartans. Ready to start things off. Sky Zhao has the honors of the serve. So plays it down the right side. Aggies keep it that way. Good save from Newman. Aggies get another try up the middle. The push right there is Octavio. Young left side met by the wall of Aggies. Nathan Nguyen alongside Andrew Dogger right there to team up for the block as Dogger now goes back to serve for Davis. Right side with Young, the float. True on the kill. Young has done that now multiple times for the Spartans. Some powerful spikes and some delicate kills as well. Front side set, straight up, straight down kill for Nathan Nguyen. Brings some chance to the Aggies bench as Nguyen comes out back in Thomas Grigas. 2-1 lead early in set two for the Aggies. Middle attack from Singh, no good. Aggies reset, my goodness, what a blow. 
Tapped across by Singh and nobody there for the Aggies. But that point stayed alive by the efforts of Tan Nguyen for the Spartans. Took a heater from the Aggies attack, able to stick with it. Two touches later, Spartans even this thing two apiece and set to. Greg Lotto back to serve. Lefty push, Spartans are there. Newman, left side, just like we saw with Young on the opposite. A delicate kill for the Spartans. Getting the Aggies to jump early, just not ready for that push shot over the net. Left side attack, nobody there defensively for the Spartans, picking up that kill. Ashton Woolbridge yet again for Davis. Coming in the serve, Alex Chang once more for UC Davis. Young takes the first touch, across to Newman, does the rest, finishes down low near the baseline. Perfect execution from Isaac Newman. Give his squad a one point advantage early in the second set. Coming in to serve, Andrew Gasser for the Spartans. Spins it on the hand. Four jump serving it across to the Aggies. Middle action has been effective as you see there. Daniel Thomas Grigas picks up the kill to knock this thing back at four apiece. Jump serve. Spartans wisely let that one go. Too aggressive there is Woldridge. Couldn't spin it to the back baseline. Just the first service error for the Aggies in this one so far. Two for the Spartans. Left side floater this time for the Aggies. Andrew Dogger picks it up. He's attacked now on both sides of the net for Davis. Behind the line of serve, Thomas Grigas punches it into Newman's body. Spartans stay with it, and Young finishes the play from the left side. Back and forth we go in set number two. Coming back in is Singh. Front side action, nobody home to pancake it for the Spartans. Yet again, the hero is Andrew Dogger for the Aggies. Tried to keep his squad alive in the first set. Now looking to do the same here in the second. 6-6 six, six tie, back to serve Colby Wu. Some arguments going on near the Aggie dugout about some of the prior plays as Singh picks up the kill for the Spartans. Some miscommunication for the Aggies defensively, causing a bit of a commotion for Thomas Grigas on the bench alongside a few of his teammates. Tan Nguyen set to serve for the Spartans. Backside action, picking up another kill is Dogger. Dogger trying to knife his way through the Spartans defense, picks up a pair of kills early in the set. 7-7 seven, seven tie so far. Young can't roll this one over. Another try for Chu. Aggies are there, left side attack. Chu there defensively this time. Young can't get it over. Just tried to set it across safely. And just a different position for Young, who we've seen spike it down. Finally, just trying to be safe and unable to do so. Left side action, Chu. Good placement by Wu to be ready. Singh rejects the first effort, gives the Spartans a good chance on offense for Young. Doggers there for the Aggies. 
Aggies now switch sides, the left side attack, too strong off the hand of Woldridge. We continue to go point after point between the two sides, 8-8 eight, eight tie early in the second set. Kyle Young back to serve for the Spartans. Good first touch by Young. He's forced to just bump this thing over to the Aggies. Good chance to run the offense. They go to left side. Woldridge puts it away for Davis. They take the one point advantage right back over to Spartans. Dogger and Woldridge providing all the offense here in the set. Thomas Griegas comes back in in replace of Nathan Nguyen. And back to serve for the Aggies, Cole Guerrero. Backside action to Chu. Picks up the kill, the deflection goes out of bounds. Off of Woldridge. Libero, Octavio, Robledo back to serve. Middle action, stuffed is Thomas Griegas. Woldridge gets a try, there's Octavio. Nguyen and Young able to put it across for the Spartans, good try now. Woldridge again, picks up the kill for Davis. Long rally results in some friendly chance for the Aggies, 10-9 advantage. Wu comes out in the serve, Alex Chang. Left side attack, Newman finds the right sideline for the Spartans. Another quick three touch point and kill for the Spartans. Making quick work of their first opportunities attacking. Back to serve, Andrew Gasser for the Spartans. Second touch put across by the Aggies and a phenomenal position there off the hands of the Spartans, the very back right corner of the court. Gives the Spartans a one point lead. Gasser trying to give the Spartans the first two-point lead in what feels like the first time in this set. It's been all back and forth points. Newman just sets it across. Good chance for the Aggies. Left side attack. They find the wall of Spartans. Middle attack. Dogger can't spin it home. Two-point advantage for San Jose State. Gasser, three consecutive, the streak will end there. Dogger heads up play to let that one sail out of bounds overhead. Ashton Woldridge back to serve for Davis. Young, a good first touch, sets up Newman left side. Good up by the Aggies. Dogger with the kill for Davis. Back-to-back -back points, gets this thing right where it's been, all set long, dead even. Old Jays a rocket to Young. Davis goes left side, Dogger misses wide left point, Spartans on the air. Newman behind the line to serve for the Spartans. Quick action, Thomas Griegas with the quick kill. The Lithuanian hyped up, giving chest bumps to everyone in range. See goes now behind the line to serve for Davis in a 13-13 game. Young, another good first touch. It goes right to the net. Spartans able to get it across. 
front set. Dogger, no, the point on the double will go to the Spartans. Now 7.15 local time. For those of you only here for this Davis-Spartans matchup, we appreciate you waiting for the slight delay in the timing of the schedule to check out this Spartans-Aggies matchup. Aggies take the point on the third Spartan service error of the game. For San Jose State, unable to get the coverage up before that 10 a.m. game started for the Spartans versus the Humboldt Lumberjacks. So for both squads, their first time here on the broadcast channel for the families at home. Hope you're enjoying the first coverage of your squads. The winner set to face the one seed down south in the Cal Poly slow Mustangs as the Aggies take the one point advantage 15-14 here in the second set. Davis trying to revamp themselves after that first set loss. Left side Young right to Dogger. Dogger gets it right back but can't finish over the wall of Singh as well as Nguyen for the Spartans. Han Nguyen, after that fine defensive play, now going back to serve for San Jose State. Nguyen to Dogger. Dogger once more gets it right back, but just can't put it over the net. Two touch violation on Dogger. San Jose State now regains the lead, 16-15 advantage. Left side attack for Davis, good up by Newman. Young rolls it over, another try for Davis. Left side yet again. Young left side puts it away. Just left of Woldridge. Two opportunities for Kai Hill and the Aggies on that point, couldn't put either away. And you just can't give Young too many opportunities offensively or he'll single-handedly put you out of the game. There's a kill from Nathan Nguyen of the Aggies. Nguyen, one of the few freshmen on this squad coming out of Elk Grove. The other freshman, Henry Nguyen for the Aggies, who we have not seen in uniform so far. Davis commits their second service error. San Jose State picks up the point, now back up two. I guess go up the middle. Young ready. Right side attack, and Chu finds a gap between the two lines. And boy, I think Chase Young, pardon, I think Kyle Young Heard the talking coming from the Aggies bench. I'm not allowed to repeat exactly what they said prior to his serve, but I think he heard him and showing off the 16 jersey on his way back to the line. Timeout called here in Burnham Pavilion. San Jose stayed up 19-16. We're back inside Burnham Pavilion, 1916 lead for the Spartans over the Aggies of UC Davis. The Aggies have been trying to use their vocalness to power themselves over the Spartans so far to no prevail. Right side attack, Hill met once more at the net. He tries again. Boy, Kai Hill having a tough time on the front line for the Aggies. Five opportunities. Couple errors for Hill. Yeah. 
Young back to serve his team up. 2016. Turn the clocks back to eight years for this one. Violation yet again on the Aggies. Point goes to the Spartans. Now a 21-16 lead. So we give the net a little adjustment here at center court. It gives the thumbs up from the head referee. Young to Dogger. A set goes to Hill. This time able to pick up the kill. Maybe that can spark some confidence into the eyes of the junior from Aspen, Colorado. Davis now trailing by four. Back to serve Cole Guerrero. Action for Singh up the middle. Guerrero ready for the first touch. Aldridge left side. Spartans able to get it over in the nick of time. Aldridge will fire again and take the kill. Shoots the guns back at the Aggie bench before a, a round of chance come as well. San Jose State remains cool, calm, and collected on their side of the court, boosting a 21-18 lead. Left side attack, Newman, right to Dogger. Woldridge yet again, left side, picking up the kill. Dogger now slowly taking the back seat. Woldridge getting the last two points solo for Davis. Newman forced to bump it across to the Aggies, down by two, looking to make it a one lead. And they do just that, of all people, Colby Wu takes the kill. The short setter gives the Aggies their 20th point of the set. The momentum starting to shift over to the men in blue. Newman yet again forced to just set it across. Right side attack. Way deep by Hill, angry with himself as he rips the jersey down. A libero, Octavio Robledo back to serve for the Spartans. Three points shy of this second set victory. Left side, Wooldridge met at the net. And a carry called on the Aggies, tough break, nearly a phenomenal defensive save after being stuffed at the net themselves. Instead, Point Spartans on the block, the defense continuing to provide havoc for these Aggies. Middle set, Dogger too strong. 24-20 lead for San Jose State. They find themselves at set point. That'll call a timeout by Coach Victor Tenorio of the UC Davis squad. His team down, trying to not fall. Two sets to none. The Aggies in danger of falling two sets to none over the two-seeded San Jose State Spartans. Aggie get the first action and they put the kill down. Thomas Grigas out of the break, picks up the kill. I understand these Aggies, 14 and four, number one seed up north. But I don't know how much time they spend on these little rituals and chants after every point. I mean, it's a unique phrase every single point. I got to give them credit. Strong record and strong performance on the bench. My goodness, a wipeout moment. Down goes Alex Chang for the Aggies on a huge kill for the second set for the Spartans. 
Thankfully, Chang getting right back up, smiles as he walks over to the bench. But boy, not too many smiles for the Aggies down two sets to zero in danger of a sweep against these Spartans. During that pre-third set break, I couldn't help but notice the UC Davis Aggies squad took a look at the replay of that final point in which Alex Chang got hit by a mammoth kill that gave the Spartans the second set advantage. And they couldn't help but laugh a near Scott Sterling moment for the Aggies. If you know what I'm talking about, you know exactly what I mean. Scott Sterling, a volleyball legend. Go check him out if you haven't heard of him just yet. Spartans up 2-0. The Aggies going to need to climb all the way back down from this 2-0 hole to first force a set five and then take it over these Spartans who control all the momentum over UC Davis. On this San Jose State squad, they're led by four seniors and a grad student providing the mentorship for the few underclassmen they have. Just a pair of freshmen and a pair of sophomores for San Jose State. So perhaps this the final run for this core squad to try to get Coach Kevin Lee this NCCVL League Championship. As for Davis, plenty of juniors, freshmen, and even sophomores. Just one grad student and zero seniors. So Davis going to be a threat for the league title year in and year out for at least the foreseeable future. Kobe Wu. Leads things off with the serve for Davis. First offensive possession goes up the middle. The tip shot. Newman keeps it alive. Octavio puts it across. Front set action through the middle once more. Regalado with a good up. Sets up Young. Left side. Left side. Dogger. He's met and picks up the kill. Deflection goes out of bounds. Freddy Aggies, that's how you have to start. Get on these Spartans early. And try to knock them out early in the third set. Spartans try up the middle. It's not there. Young can't roll it over the net. 
couple times now we have seen Kyle Young try to just be safe and put it over and unable to do so. Kobe Wu, three straight serves to start the set. They go to Young again. A better set this time, but Young still can't get it over. And the Aggies' chance continue now up 3-0 over the Spartans. San Jose State really emotionless all game long besides these few claps and cheers after getting each point. But San Jose State just appears locked in on winning. Not much else going through these gentlemen for San Jose State. Front set action. Hill with the push set kill for the Aggies. We have seen Kai Hill have his fair share of aggressive spikes, really only converting on one alongside a few errors. So perhaps that can get some confidence back in the hill after seeing that one go down. Dogger commits a service error for Davis. Just three on the game for the Aggies. Same for the Spartans. It's Kyle Young goes behind the line for San Jose State. Deep serve to Dogger. Hill right side does go aggressive. And he'll take the point on the violation, this time on the Spartans. Back to serve libero Cole Guerrero. Guerrero plays to Newman, a bad first touch. Phenomenal save by Nguyen. Right side attack, deflected by Newman. Awkward situation there. Tan Nguyen trying to play it for Kevin Chu, just missed communication there between the two front men. The Aggies climb up to an early 6-2 advantage in this third set. Back set action for Chu, met at the net, has it ricochet both off Young and his own head. But Davis owning the front line early and that leads to a quick set three timeout by coach Kevin Lee to talk things over with his fellow Spartans. They trail by five early in the third set. We're back inside Burham Pavilion. UC Davis off to an early 7-2 advantage, needing the climb all the way back to force a game five set. They'll pick up the point out of the timeout. More action on the net, resulting in a violation on San Jose State. Kyle Young going over for some clarification with the line official. I think some of the Spartans just going underneath the net. Quick first touch kill there by Hill. And Kai Hill finding his groove at the right time for UC Davis, the junior from Aspen, Colorado. A few kills in this set alone, but the Aggies back it up with a service error by Cole Guerrero. Two in the set, four on the game now for Davis. Back to serve is Regalado. Robledo, pardon. Left side action, Woldridge met at the net. Robledo gives it back to Chu, cross court, perfect location down the left sideline for San Jose State. Robledo waiting for the ball for the Aggies, finally gets it from Thomas Griegas. 9-4 advantage for UC Davis. Off the net to Guerrero, Aggies run it left side. 
Holdridge can't convert, that one sails wide left. Spartan still trail by four, but back-to-back -back points for San Jose State. Back set goes to Hill, right side, gets it over the net. Fortunate break for Davis and Hill. When you're hot, you're hot. And Kai Hill feeling exactly that for UC Davis. Thomas Griegas taking a look at the volleyball before handing it off to Alex Chang. After further review, Alex Chang not hit in the face. It was just in the chest area. Still knocked him to the ground nonetheless. Speaking of knocked to the ground, that volleyball had feelings spiked down by Anthony Hirayama Morgan. Haven't called Hirayama Morgan's name often here for the Spartans. They've been led by Young offensively alongside Newman and Chu. Back to serve is Gasser. Left side attack, stuffed at the net the first time. Point goes to the Spartans on the double. Now just a three-point deficit for San Jose State. Both teams staying true to themselves. San Jose State relaxed and calm on their side of the court. The Aggies remain active and vocal. Kill goes to Newman there. Fortunate break off the tip of Wolverine. So this run by the Spartans causes Coach Victor Tenorio of UC Davis to call a timeout. His team still up two, 10 to eight, early in set three. It's a 10-2 lead for Davis, but the momentum siding in favor of the Spartans of San Jose State. Gasser serve goes long out of the timeout. Ideal start for Davis, who had their lead drift to just two points over the Spartans. Back to serve is Wooldridge. Front serve, Newman attacks. Makes the first and third touch and picks up the kill for San Jose State. Coming in to serve, Kyle Revis for the Spartans. First appearance of the game so far for Revis. The junior outside from San Jose. Thomas Griegas, a rare air there. Couldn't even find the volleyball. We've seen Griegas do that as just a setup and a decoy offensively, but that time the set actually meant for him, just couldn't make the play. Left side, Dogger, right to the noggin of Gasser. The Aggies returning the favor. Gasser may have taken that one right near the eyeball as he's wincing that left eye. We saw in the last game, Stanford versus Sac State. One of the Cardinal got hit right in the face, had to check out. That was Fowdy for you card fans. Got hit in the nose, bloody nose, knocked him out for about five minutes before coming back into action. Play resumed, Thomas Griegas back to serve. Young left side goes off Griegas and out of bounds. Behind the line for San Jose State, Anthony Hirayama Morgan. Yeah. 
Triaga Morgan plays it to Dogger. Dogger gets it right back. Barton's a good chance here through Young, left side. Dogger, phenomenal first touch. Barton's try once more. Young, left side, stuffed at the net. First touch kill, two arms in the air, flex the guns, Brian Lay. Lay gets his first kill of the game. Back even 12 apiece, just like we saw in the second set, back and forth action. So far in the third set, even though it's just a one point lead for Davis, it's been a game of runs. This set, multiple 5-0 runs for either side. Back to serve, Colby Wu for the Aggies. Wu, fortunate roll over the net. Sets up Young for the Spartans. Dogger, left side. Good up by Gasser. Young, another try right there, Wooldridge. Dogger gets his second chance, too strong. Point goes to the Spartans. Barton server, Tan Nguyen, pokes it to Dogger. Middle, middle action. Octavio not ready for the heat. Davis back to a one point lead over San Jose State. He passed the midway point in this third set. Chu gets the action, picks up the kill on the deflection out of bounds. Kevin Chu, relatively quiet so far, taking the back seat to both Newman alongside Kyle Young. <laughs> Left side action, Wooldridge right in front of Young. So after runs to start this third set, we're back to back and forth action. Behind the line, 40 Aggies, Libero, Cole Guerrero. Left side, Newman gets the call, right to Guerrero. Aggies a good chance to go through Hill, stuffed the first time. Backside set, Wooldridge met at the net yet again. The point goes to the Spartans on the four touch violation. Wooldridge, some confusion looking back at the sideline official. Trying to argue that one was just blocked at the net. Octavio behind the line to serve. Good one at the feet of Gosser. Aggies yet again unable to get it over. Back to back four touch violations on UC Davis. One point lead now for San Jose State. Looking to complete the sweep, but that doesn't help. Octavio with the service error. Four on the game now for the Spartans. We're back even 16 apiece. Getting back to serve for the Aggies, Alex Chang. Right side, Chu deflected. Right to Guerrero. Ashton goes back to Wooldridge. Wide right. Not sure if Octavio Robledo tried to make a play on that or if it was just too fast. But regardless, it finds the red out of bounds area here inside Burnham Pavilion. Gasper going back to serve for the first time since getting plunked right in the noggin. Good serve gives his guys another chance on offense. And there's the quick kill from Anthony Hirayama Morgan. Right up the shoot for the Spartans. As they take a two point advantage over the Aggies.
Kasser, a floater over to Woldridge. Tough second touch for the Aggies. Another good try upcoming for the Spartans. And Newman can't convert. Asks for it right back, and he gets it. Aggies ready once more. Left side. Aggies can't put it down. They'll get another try here. Middle action. Daniel Thomas, Grigas can't convert. Point goes to the Spartans trying to creep away from UC Davis late in the third set. Three point advantage for the Spartans who have already played one game today so you can argue some confidence already after beating Humboldt. But at the same time these legs are tired for the Spartans. Right side Woldridge gets the kill deflected and then on the ground of the side of San Jose State. Woldridge gets the kill and heads behind the line to serve for the Aggies. Newman makes the first and third touch and puts the point away for the Spartans on the kill. 20 point mark for San Jose State. Danger time for the UC Davis Aggies. Head coach Victor Tenorio. Back in the serve, Kyle Rivas for the Spartans. Point Spartans on the net violation. That first touch just too close. Tough play for the Davis setter. 21-17 lead for San Jose State. As they inch closer to their dreams of playing Cal Poly slow once more for the third time this season. Over two in the regular season are the Spartans versus the Mustangs. Spartans back-to-back -back points on net violations. And the Spartan squad slowly showing that energy that they truly possess. As into this timeout break, they take a five-point, 22-17 lead over the UC Davis Aggies. Jacob will go back inside Burnham Pavilion. The two seeded San Jose State Spartans, a five point advantage over one of the one seed UC Davis Aggies. Three points away from a 3 0 sweep of the Aggies and a chance to face Cal Poly Slow Mustangs in the championship game of this D2 bracket. Left side set, hammering down the kill. Number 28, Dylan Lau. Wow, a rare appearance in this one, and it could have come at a bigger time for the Spartans. Two points shy of the sweep. Spartans did beat these Aggies in 2-0 fashion earlier in the season, and now have match point number one over Davis. We had back-to-back five-set games earlier today, and now potentially back-to-back 3-0 -back sweeps. Left side action, Dogger keeps it alive for the Aggies. Goes off Gasser and out of bounds. Set to serve for Davis, Daniel Thomas Grigas. The Lithuanian native, one ace already in the match. High serve. Played well by the Spartans. Grigas keeps it alive. Woldridge rolls it over. Wow, up high. And the kid picks up the game winning kill out of nowhere. Dylan Lau, the sophomore from Vallejo, checks into the game, gets back to back kills for San Jose State. And they shock these UC Davis Aggies. And the one seed dreams are over. 
for UC Davis. One of the first upsets of this D2 bracket so far. Every game, the higher seed has won up until this point. The two-seeded San Jose State Spartans now officially set to face Cal Poly Slow Mustangs tomorrow for the championship match. But first, for UC Davis, some conference awards being given out. A pair of honorable mentions. First to Ashton Woldridge, and now Nathan Nguyen. Second team selection for the libero, Cole Guerrero. Well deserved for Guerrero. We saw his efforts throughout this entire game. Now another second team given out. This one to Andrew Dogger. Dogger gave it his all in the defeat for Davis. As for the Spartans, they'll have to wait to either the victory over slow to receive the rewards or after the defeat tomorrow afternoon. But folks, we appreciate you staying through this marathon of a day this Saturday morning and afternoon. For all you Spartan and Aggie fans, we appreciate you tuning in now 7.52 local time. Jacob and Rokel, that's all I got for you on the mic today. I hope everyone at home has a phenomenal rest of their night. And for the winners today, I'll see you all back here tomorrow afternoon.